on a little bit. I mean, no, you're ebony. I'm too tired. Okay. Close this gate and close the next gate down below. Nope. You gotta stay there for the moment. I'll come back up and let you into the feeding area. Just want the alpaca to stay down here. Oh, God, I'm loving these. I love silver birch. I'm so glad I planted this drift of them. Interspersed with self-sown cherries and cherry trees that I sowed and spindle. This is spindle, birch, and then that. That's a cherry tree right there. So making it beautiful for humans and wildlife. And my domestic livestock. Hey, kitty. Did the sheep give you a fright? That's my pile of cobbles for when I'm doing cobbling. Nope, you're not getting this. Ah, uh ah, -uh, Inca. Not yet. Now, if you stop right in front of me, I can't move forward. Let's move you to the gate. Okay, ladies, whoops. Yep, stop right in front of me and I don't get much further forward. Okay, ladies. Oh, come on. No, no. There we go. Only 11 left. Now, it is very mild and warm. And if I house them in there, they might overheat and get double pneumonia. And a sheep that gets pneumonia is hard to cure. So, they are gonna have access to just this paddock here and in here if they want a lamb. So we'll come out and we'll have to do some lambing by torchlight. But this is a kind of preventative medicine way, if you will, for lambing. And there's plenty of places for Yo to lamb and it's a secure paddock and they can graze and they can be out under the stars if they want to or if they want to lamb in the security of the shed, I'll have it lit as normal. That won't be lit unless we're coming out to look, but under there will be lit. And then we can count 11 sheep and say, yay, there's 11 sheep, none are lambing, or yay, one is lambing. Anyway, are you ready to go back to your puppies? You ready? Yes, okay, we'll go back to your puppies.